baby sister um, out of three kids my mom um, I'm the baby girl and TJ was the second oldest and John boy is the oldest um, TJ was very protective of his baby sister uh, he would tell people I was his baby and I was um, and he was mine um, growing up here in South Carolina with uh, TJ, my aunt Joyce um, would let me come over on the weekends and I would come over to play with Temple and Terry, who well, Terry pretty much because Temple was a few years older, but uh, Temple was was the uh, troublemaker. <laughs> Temple would have us doing all kind of stuff, but um, I know I'm here to talk about my brother, so I'm going to stay on task, but uh, TJ used to um used to play with with us outside me and terry he would he would be the cashier and uh we would be the people that came to the store and we would buy turnip greens and we would have uh hamburger patties i mean we we had a good time outside uh me terry and tj but uh tj looked out for us he did um tj thought he knew everything uh, he, he grew up being that way he um could always tell you something that you already knew but he would tell you detail from detail um some funny facts about tj um we went to myrtle beach one time and the day that we was getting ready to go um the person that owned the, the uh the hotel had came out and told my aunt that uh, one of the young boys had peed in the pool. They just saw him just whip it out and pee in the pool. So, of course, you know who that was. Oh, Tommy Lewis Curry Jr. <laughs> um, I remember one time I, um, my aunt Joyce had a block of cheese in the refrigerator. and I had a bad habit of biting things and putting them back. And uh, so when she would ask ask me did I do it, I, I I lied about it. I said no, ma'am, I didn't I didn't bite the cheese. So TJ thought that was funny. He made a recording about me. To my uh, nigga, did you eat that cheese? No, ma'am. TJ, did you eat? No, ma'am. Terry, no, ma'am. So when they found out it was me, he made a recording. Um, he just had a way of making you laugh. Um, we would be talking to him sometimes and. He put in some some earbuds like he didn't hear us, or if we were saying something that was that he thought that was unnecessary, he get out a violin and he will play it that yeah 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 that is just crazy stuff. And um, he would make up songs. Uh, the song uh, "Whistle While You Work." He made up a song that said, "Terry smell like dirt." I am uh, I'm trying to remember and I have so many memories um, of my brother that were funny because he would always make you laugh. He was saying this song, uh, church folks sitting quiet and still, something, something, something what the spirit is, we don't get in the spirit like we used to. And um, he was saying that to make us laugh and he... Um, would ask me when I would get ready to go to choir rehearsal. He'd say, you think they let me sing? And I say, yeah, they let you sing. And he'll say, um, I found me a choir who will let me sing. he look at me and say, sing it, Nidra. <laughs> so um, we did a lot of singing together, me, him, and Jumbo. We would harmonize. Um, Jodeci Tupac was his favorite, and 
his favorite song was I'm ready to go right now <laughs> so um, I have so many memories of my brother um, his birthday was May the 15th and took him out to uh, get something to eat and have a drink and I think he was already lifted before I got here so uh, got him to the bar and bought him a drink and I left him probably about five minutes I go back he was at the bar asleep but he could remember every woman that was sitting up there though <laughs> he asked me the next day who was that girl sitting beside me but uh, if you know TJ he um, he was one of a kind you know um, one of my cousins had a call me and said you know he was a sweet soul he was a great soul and we didn't deserve him he was right we didn't deserve him so um god did what was best and he he took he he um took him home um i know my brother is in heaven so i am overjoyed i am going to miss him I am going to miss his calls, his texts, him calling me over in the morning, pissing me off because he done woke me up out my sleep. And I'm going to miss his laughter. No matter how many times you bless him out, he would still say, I love you. And he would still laugh. You couldn't make him mad. He, he didn't have an enemy. And if he did, it was, it was because he probably was talking too much or somebody was jealous of him. And he didn't have much to be jealous of, but he was just a happy, sweet person. And I'm going to miss him. And I'm pretty sure that all of you here today have a, your own story, and you're going to miss him too. Godspeed, be encouraged, and know that we all have to go someday. <laughs>